Hello, um, welcome to today's studio vlog. It's basically just like a day in my life, but I'm just calling it a studio vlog because I am kind of focusing more towards my art because I know that's what you guys want to see. But I'm just going to take y'all through my day because um, I have a lot of fun stuff planned. I'm going to, you know, work out. I have a Zoom call right now with my leadership team at school. I have lunch. <laughs> I have dinner. It's a great time. I woke up today around 8 a.m. and then I brushed my teeth, you know, had some fun with it, danced a bit, and then I made my daily smoothie, which consisted of frozen fruit, a banana, some juice, and then I blended it together and got that. <gasps> oh, you're kidding. My dumbass knocked over some paint water I had from last night and it went everywhere, all over my computer, all over my pencil sharpener. It was a mess. This is a piece I did last night. It's really eyelash. I don't know. I'm, I'm really happy with the style I'm trying to go towards lately. It's like a more gouache, um, cartoony, stylized version of characters. So, I have Tyler the Creator here. Um, doesn't really look quite like him, but we're trying. We're trying our best, truly. Bye. After my meeting, I decided to work out because I was feeling super unfit with all this quarantine stuff. So I decided to take a video from Chris, who runs a channel called Official Finex, and he has really great workouts for your chest and abs. And I did two workouts today, and yeah, I had fun with them. That was way too much. That was way too much for today. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Now we get into the actual studio part of the vlog. I don't actually have a studio, but I call my desk a studio because that's where I do most of my work. Um, and I really just want to give you a quick tutorial slash bit of clarity and insight as to what my process is when I make thumb comics. But before I do that, I'm going to clean my desk so it's not messy and disgusting. So cue the time lapse now. So now that everything is clean and all nice and neat, I'm going to show you guys how I paint my comics, draw my comics, do my comics digitally. So the first item we have is my iPad Pro. I'm pretty sure this is the first generation, but I will double check. It's dead. Great. And then we also have my Apple Pencil. Pretty old. I'm pretty sure it's about three years old. Not bad, I love it actually. Um, funny enough, I used to start my comics actually on PixArt. That's literally how everything started. I would just use like the different features there, the circle feature and these like random paint features and literally draw it out with my finger on my old iPod. And also I even used to do like stop motion with my iPod touch um, online and make music videos to them. I'll insert one now. So if you guys think you need technology and all this fancy stuff to get started, you really don't. Just use what you have and you'll be fine. It'll work out. So how it all started was I would put red acrylic paint on my thumb and then I would just do a bunch of thumb prints and then chose the best one I liked and then kind of did a color um, selector around that and then cropped it. So that's how the character's base gets started. I always like to start out with the square because that's just what the Instagram dimensions are. I always go to my Pixar folder and have a separate folder for my thumb paints. And then from there, I always just kind of realign and readjust my thumbprint to what the comic has to be. Here, I'm just gonna give a quick tutorial on like what I would usually do. I always go in with the calligraphy script inking pen. And then I go to black. I have my open layers. I always like to draw on two layers above the thumbprint so I can always put the white in for the eyes. That is way too big of a line. The good and bad thing about thumb, it's so simple to the point where I can make one really quickly in like 30 minutes, I can bear out a whole comic, but then also it's not as versatile because it's not three dimensional, it's just a two dimensional character. So if I try to do like profile angles, it has to be a three fourth. If I do a, like um, the back of the head, 
or like the back of a thumb, then I can't really do that without making it look too good because it's so two-dimensional and flat where I can't even give it any dimensions. So that's the good and bad part about having such a simple character. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in with the arms. They're gonna be in a Kimbo pose. I think the arm is too fat on the left one, so. Do it like that, pretty simple and easy. Um, and I can always adjust things using the freeform selector. And if I go in and draw a line from each shoulder, it should be perpendicular to the axis of thumb. So that's pretty good. It does not have to be perfect, it is a cartoon, so not everything is gonna be perfect. And that's okay. We love imperfections. So I'm gonna go in and I just draw a basic eye shape. Um, this can always be corrected and adjusted with the warp tool. And then we're pretty much good to go. And then after I have one eye that kind of looks fine, I just duplicate it, flip horizontally, and then I kind of adjust it to where it looks good. And obviously it's not gonna be perfect. This is just like a quick tutorial on what to do. And then I'll always duplicate the first layer so that I can use the fill tool um, to fill in certain shapes. And I have the white for the eye. And then I can always go back in and do corrections. And then I can make the eye look pretty good. Oh, well, it doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look great. But remember, this is just a quick tutorial on how I make thumb. And that's what you do. This is the finished product. So yeah, that's how I make thumb. Really quick tutorial. If you guys have any questions on that, please ask below. I'm always down to answer it and I probably will make a more formal video on this later, but since this is more of like a day in my life studio type of vlog, I will move on with my day. Actually guys, the day kind of ended there. I kind of stopped filming afterwards because I didn't do much but edit this video, which you guys probably saw in my story. Well, I have been editing for the past six hours and I'm not even halfway done through the video and I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get it posted tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, I tried to make a couple TikToks, you know. I made a bean patty hamburger for lunch, you know, ate that, it was great. For dinner, I had food. And you know what, it's fine. The day was fun, it was eventful, but you know, it wasn't worthwhile recording. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it. It took a lot of effort and time to do all the gifts, to do all of the little transitions. And I hope you guys like this style of video because I will very much continue to do it if you guys do enjoy this style. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.